morning, Chief and Chief Vets. Welcome back to Royal Flush Balancing. Dan's here again, and today I'm at one of my regular clients' houses where we're here to do just maintenance washes on, our, on their fleet of cars. I've done one Lexus Estate, and now I'm going to go and do a brand new Ferrari Roma, which is actually going back to Ferrari in a week or so because they are replacing it with a brand new F12 Super Fast. I'm a lucky boy. Follow me for this basic wash process today. We'll show you the ins and outs, the basics of how we do things here. Just a normal safe wash process. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on all socials. Might be up here or up here somewhere. See you in a jiffy. Take you for a little quick walk around on the outside of it. Of course, it's just undergoing a normal safe wash today. Look on the interior. Okay. So we have the inside of the Ferrari Roma. As you can see, Ferrari do not mess about. Lovely quality of leather stitching everywhere. There's really no finish like a Ferrari finish, as they say. There's the lovely Roma dashboard. The race bottom tight, bottom uh, steering wheel. So nice that steering wheel, isn't it? A lot of people were put off by this start engine button here. Um, obviously, you know, it's just a digital button. Lovely centre console with some nice fingerprints on that we'll take care of shortly. But overall, the car is very, very clean. You can see it does get used, but it's not too crazy. You use seat covers, and there is actually two seats there in the back, which you could probably squeeze. Uh, no, no, in maybe. So uh, I'm going to get it moved. I'm just going to change camera angle. Okay, so I'm just going to get in nice and gentle. Oh my gosh! How does this work? Does anyone know how this is work? Right. So I think this is how we start. Is it man? Yeah. Sugar. Right. Oh my gosh. So that is the wheels and the arches. As of course, if you know with the wheels, they take a big, big hit of everything. Um, obviously, it's always in contact with road salt, muck, dirt, grind, tar, you name it. So we always tackle the wheels first, and then secondly, we'll be going on for a pre-wash and get the body clean, clean before we touch it. Yes, guys, okay, so today, all I've got now is our Lucas Juice wheel cleaner, which I'll be doing. Which is here. Now this is an alkaline based wheel cleaner. Um, it diluted 10 parts water to one part product, so it's very, very weak. All I'm going to do is spray it on all the soiling on the tyres, the wheels, let it sit and dwell for a minute or two, and then I'll jet wash all that grime away to reveal a lovely, lovely, nice clean surface to go in ready for contact stage, yeah? Deep. These are carbon ceramics as well, so should have zero brake dust particles from this car anyway. So that's it as well, I'll blast it off in two That's 
that's that. Now we're now going to repeat the whole, pro the same process around the rest of the four wheels. So, wheels have all been sorted, I'll rinse them off in a minute. Now we need to start tackling all the loose soil in the muck that's stuck to the surface of the car. So I've got a bit of a theory that I like to always clean, clean. I won't touch it unless it's clean already. So you can just see, I don't know if you can, there is like a, a dusting on top of the car. The lights are minging. Obviously there's lots of muck on the back end. So the idea is now I've got our uh, poker face citrus pre-wash which is somewhere it's on the floor here which is this bad boy it's a little treat so that's diluted 10 to 1 in here i'm going to throw it all over the car and start allowing it to soften all the soil in once that's been done i'll probably jet wash it off i might even snow foam it afterwards just for because i like it but the more lube the better as always and then uh, you'll see shortly how we can get this clean clean before we actually touch it it's all about making sure everything is clean clean before we touch it yeah anywhere to be dry if it is it means you've not got problem on it to stop it which is not what we want we want it everywhere yeah on the roof she's dying in there everywhere top to bottom cover it okay God, here's me this is my first day on the tools in a good couple of months today jamie's little girl's not very well so he's had a day off to look after her and i'm back to the grind as always so i'm gonna start making it clean clean so obviously you just want to test your jet wash bang top to bottom I'm going to put you down. Bear in mind, there's no right or wrong way of doing this, yeah? Sometimes, depending on the car, I might go bottom to top on the pre-wash first with my jet wash. Because it keeps everything above concentrated. If you've done it top to bottom, all the citrus pre-wash you've sprayed on, theoretically, it's going to be diluted by the excess water. Depends where you are, how much water you've got, how much time you've got to do the job and how careful you need to be, of course. With these cars, you need to be super, super careful. And in our business, whether it's a Fiat or Ferrari, we'll always treat it the same. However, sometimes you might want to go that extra bit more in case. So you can you kind of uh, gauge it as you go, really. going to show you all how a good pre-wash works yeah so if you can see here i've hit the bottom part with the jet wash and above it's still dirty so see if i can make it a little bit more obvious for you so you can clearly see the left side's a dirty side 
So it's not been done over there yet, but in the middle it's nice and clean. You want to get it clean, clean everywhere. So even all these little bits, you want to get rid of all that. Because all that is doing is increasing your chances of putting defects on the car, yeah? So you don't want to do that. Chief and Chief Vets. So if you haven't checked us out already, I'll link in the description below all of our socials. We've got a Royal Flush Members Club. If you want to join our Royal Flush Car Care family, you might know this already as you've seen before. We've got our own car care products. We've got 13 to start with at the minute when we are adding more and more stuff to this as time goes on. And they are going to constantly evolve as time goes on. So make sure you check us out at Royal Flush Car Care. Small business based in Cheshire. Just me and my two best friends from primary school in the business. That is it. And the support has been ridiculous on TikTok, especially. If you haven't got us on TikTok, make sure you do give us a follow as well. And make sure you do hit the subscribe button on this YouTube channel if you want to watch more videos in the future. So the car's now been wheels, arches cleaned. We've got the deep dish all done, pre-wash stage complete. So the car is now clean, clean. It's theoretically ready for us to come into our contact wash stage. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can throw some more snow foam over it again now to give you more lub lubrication. Or, I know that the car is clean, clean now and I know I'm all good to go with just a normal wash stage. Time is money, so always be clever. Sometimes you might want to be a bit more careful, put more snow foam on, wash it with the snow foam on with your two-pocket wash method. Or failing that, like me now, I know this car is clean, clean. I'm not going to waste no time putting on any more lube, no more snow foam, straight in with the two-pocket wash method. Now, before you start on the contact wash stage, rule number one, remove any clothing. You've got zips or anything there that might cause damage. Like so. Rule number two, always be gentle. Treat it like your grandma. Treat her gently and she will look after you. Rule number three, no excessive pressure. Rule number four, enjoy yourself. Don't worry too much, just enjoy the process and I guarantee the more you do this, the more you will learn and pick up bits and bobs. Let's start from the top first, yeah? Be very gentle. There's plenty of stuff in there. And usually what you've done is after you've done one panel, you want to go back to your wash bucket, even turn it over if you want to, flip it to the side so you know it's nice and clean, and carry on down the dirty bit to the bottom. Now it really depends sometimes. You might want to leave this bit to the very last because typically it is always the dirtiest. Even though you've got it clean, clean, there will still always be a little film of dirt on there which the chemical might not be able to get off. So you might consider doing all the way down to here first, all the way around the whole car, and then tackle this bit last, just to ensure you don't get any cross-contamination or anything, yeah? But we're safe as houses here. Okay. Start is now. Contact wash stage complete. Make sure nothing dries on there. Keep everything nice and moist. Lovely bit of beading. Finally, to aid in the drying process, I've got something called Fibonacci Accurade. Now, it's not designed as a protection at all, it is simply just aiding water coming off the panels, but you can see straight away it's working, it's magic. So you put this on everywhere, wheels, glass, anywhere that's got no properties whatsoever at the moment. And this will aid in your drying process being a lot, lot easier and quicker. So I'll show you now, get the jet wash and show you how it works. So you see right away, this will start just beating up.
Bam. So we've completed the wheels, pre-wash, contact wash. We're now on the aqua, we've done the aqua read. We're now going to start on drying the car. So there's two ways you can do this. One is air. Air is always going to be the safest option. Or two is using our Royal Plush drying towels. So these are 50 centimetres by 80 centimetres, 1400 GSM, super absorbent, super soft. Little tip for you now, if you're ever going to start, you know, drying the car. So what I would advise you want to do your windows first. Reason being is because your windows obviously not going to scratch as easy as the paintwork. And it's nice to get your cloth a little bit damp beforehand, because that way it's less likely to scratch on the rest of the car anyway. So I'll get this sorted now, show you how good these are as well. You can see at the moment there's lots of water just sitting on the surface. What I like to do is lay this on there nice and gentle. No pressure is needed here whatsoever. Lay it down and then all we're going to simply do is just lightly drag. Now you can dab, you can drag, there's no right or wrong way. Everyone's got their own way. I like just using it like this. You can see the results are. So I'll carry on with the rest of the car, fam. See you in the jiffy. So just one top tip for you in regards to doing your tires. Um, if your tires are wet or moist, the word that I don't like using, um, it will hinder your performance of your tire uh, dressing application. It will water it down, it will reduce the longevity of the product, it will reduce the bonding of the product. Nightmare. So in a nutshell, when you come to dressing your tyres, make sure they have either been blow dried very, very well, or dried any other by, any, by any other means necessary. Literally bone dry, and then any sort of tyre dressing that you choose to put on there should last for its longest possible period of time, whatever you want to call it. Just finishing off here now. There's only a quick one for me. Thought I might as well do something while I'm uh, while I'm back on the tools for the day. All I've got to do now: dry the wheels, the tyres, do the interior, glass, and then that's it today. Until the next time, Chiefs. See you soon.